show you something a little different than what we normally are showing you, but it's actually something we do a fair amount of, and um, that's custom work. So uh, the client in this case was a father whose son um, had a sword that he really liked. It was a foam sword. So he wanted something that had that general feel. Um, basically a LARP sword, you know, a live action role play. Uh, I don't know what groups he's involved in, but uh, so they basically just sent us this photograph, a little sketched guard that was a little bit different. Um, we ended up adding just a little more hook to the front as you see, but that was because it, it felt like what happened with that sword when he made it was, you know, he had a limitation of the size of the piece of material he was working with. That's really kind of the look. Um, and so we had maybe just a little bit of extra curve in here. Uh, and he asked us for it to have a guard, which it had a very simple piece to start with, and then a skull on the backside. Well, the skulls we use on a piece like this didn't feel like it was quite big enough. So uh, we turned on a pommel, we set this on the lathe, turned this section, mounted the skull directly in the end of the piece, which is a little bit different than what we typically are doing. Um, but we've done a few pieces like this. I'll be showing you a uh, big messer that we do. It's a fantasy piece that's got a big skull mounted on the back, kind of the same way. Um, guard's pretty neat. I don't know if it translates onto the camera, but it's a chisel stamped in here all over. Uh, the entire piece was blackened. Uh, Rick went through and ornamented the guard. I turned the pommel. You know, we did the castings. Uh, this blade we cut out because what we did is we, we sketched the original um, piece in AutoCAD directly from the photograph we had from the dad for the son. And um, we went ahead with that and, and plasma cut this out, hardened the piece. The whole thing has been blackened, black leather over top. Um, I'm not sure the son knows anything about this. This is a graduation gift uh, from, I believe, high school. I'm not sure, but uh, should be really interesting to, uh, to hear reactions back from him on something that, uh, you know, it's been a sword that apparently is pretty special to him. In you know, in, in the LARP community stuff that he does, and uh, now he's gonna have one in steel. Uh, should be pretty neat. Really, uh, really interested to hear how he feels about it. But it's a pretty cool sword. This style of sword is, uh, is a lot of fun to make, especially when it's something that's kind of you know, is a dream for the customer to start with. So, something where he's you know, kind of put himself into it a little bit and, and uh. You, know, you get to create something from that and you kind of get that big positive energy and it, it feels it feels really good so this is the type of custom work that we take whenever we can we get some designs that come in from some people that are so way out that they they just don't make a lot of sense and sometimes we can kind of design the piece with them and kind of bring them back to a little bit more of a realistic piece um, but we don't mind making something that's a little bit crazy it just has to be something that can actually physically be created and that's not always the case but uh, but this was basically a sword so we just had to make that uh, that change from something that was a soft material into obviously a, you know a hard strong material and uh, should be pretty cool all right thank you
click the logo to subscribe or click the video to see more here on the Baltimore Knife and Sword channel.